The AI video platform offers some great hidden features that I'd like to show you. That's why we're taking a closer look at the multi-elements feature in this tutorial. If I had to describe it in one word, this function is what the editor is to mid-journey. You can swap, add or delete things in videos. If you want to use multi-elements, click on video in the navigation bar on the left. You will then be redirected to the video generation area. There, users are first greeted with the three main features. Text to video, image to video, and of course, multi-elements. Unfortunately, at this point in time, we still have to accept that multi-elements only works with version 1.6. If you want to activate model 2.0, Kling will report. Unfortunately, this is currently not available. The AI platform will then immediately switch back to version 1.6. Let me briefly explain the possibilities offered by multi-elements. First, there is swap. This simply means remove one element and replace it with another. For example, if you don't like something in a video, simply replace it with another object. To do this, simply upload a video here. The next field allows you to integrate the new object. Below that, you will find a pre-made prompt that describes exactly what to do. Secondly, there is add. Here too, you can use a video, upload up to two images below it. And of course, you will also find a matching prompt here. The third tab shows the delete function. Simply upload a video here as well and use the pre-written prompt to specify what you want to remove. I've already tried out a few things. Working with this tool is not only very intuitive, but also a lot of fun. Let me demonstrate the entire process with an example. You may already be familiar with this rubber duck from another video. In our first attempt, we want to remove the toy from the swing and replace it with another object. We'll do the same with this video. Remove the rubber duck and insert another object. What exactly do you need to do? As the name swap suggests, this is the right place. Select a video of your choice. For example, one that you have already created with Kling. Simply scroll through your videos and select one of them. Of course, you can also upload a video from an external source, then click on confirm. By the way, you can also use the multi-elements feature directly from your videos. Simply click on the corresponding button below the video on the left. Once Kling has loaded this editor, you can get started. Here you will see the green button with the note, add selection. Move the mouse over the video and click on the object you want to remove. In this case, we select the rubber duck. As soon as I click on the toy, Kling marks the entire object. Then move the white bar in the timeline all the way to the right. That's basically the entire film. And mark the object again. You can see that Kling has selected it almost perfectly, despite the storm and the small objects in the background. If you then click on preview full selected area, you will see that Kling has marked the object in green throughout the entire video. Despite the violent movement and dynamic animation, the rubber duck has been selected correctly throughout. You have now prepared the editing with just four clicks. In terms of user friendliness, excellent. Then click on confirm in the lower right corner. Kling now loads the video with the selection into the preview. We now want to replace the marked object with a cat. I have prepared two images in mid journey for this purpose. This cute little cat and this peculiar hat, each deliberately on a white background. In accordance with the predefined prompt, Kling immediately understood. Swap X from image for X from video. Now replace the X with the actual object. In my case, the first word is cat and the second is rubber duck. You can adjust various settings below. For starters, I recommend leaving the output at one for now as Kling 1.6 is still somewhat experimental. After all, it costs 50 credits. Then simply click on Generate. This is how this video was created. Admittedly, there is a slight flicker here, because it is still Kling 1.6. That does look a bit unfavourable. I assume that the Kling team will soon make this feature available. With version 2.0, or even 2.1, then you can certainly expect a much better result. But it's actually very impressive. Suddenly a kitten is sitting on the swing in exactly the same place and in the same storm. 
happily whizzing through the air. As I mentioned earlier, I did the same thing with the sink. Conclusion. Select object, add new object, confirm, done. It's that simple. If we now want to use the add feature, we first select a video again. With the images, as you can see here, you now have the option of using two pictures. For this, I'll use the images I showed you earlier from Mid Journey of the Blue Hat and this cat again. If there are things in the image that you don't want to use, you can still edit the images here. However, I have deliberately placed them on a white background to make it easier for Kling to identify my desired object, then press confirm again. Unfortunately, you cannot further influence the video in ad. You can only upload it and Kling decides what to do. The pre-made prompt helps immensely again. Using the context of video, seamlessly add X from image one, X from image two. In the first X, I write cat again, and in the second X, I write the word hat. When I click generate, the result is ready in about two minutes. There is certainly room for improvement here as well. Is it perfect now? No, not necessarily, because the color seems a little too bright and contrasting compared to the rubber duck. But still, the cat has been inserted, and it's wearing that blue hat. We can see the details from the image sources, the thumbs up, the shape of the hat and the ribbon. All in all, a good result. So the add function also worked perfectly. Let's now evaluate the last function, delete. Here too, you upload a video. You are then redirected to the scene selection we are already familiar with. I could now also select the chains and the wooden board. With the reduce selection tool, I could then adjust the selection and deselect parts. Remember the start and end screens to guide Kling well. Kling then reloads the video into the preview. This time the prompt is shorter and of course predefined again. It simply says delete X from video. Instead of X, I enter rubber duck once more. When I click on generate, I get this result. I have to say, I find this truly amazing. We now see the swing swinging around in the storm without the rubber duck. Here too, there is noticeable flickering. Unfortunately, this is a bit unsightly. I hope that model 2.1 or at least 2.0 will be connected with multi elements. But basically, it's a very interesting editor that you can use to further refine your videos. Be careful not to get lost in the details because that can happen very quickly. You might want to remove something here or there and before you know it, the credits are gone. Multi element is a cool feature. Just give it a try. Have fun with it. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for listening. See you soon. Your channel, AI, now you know. <laughs>